Hi guys, how you doing? Macca's Takeaway here once again. And today I'm gonna to be making you a beautiful pasta sauce. I've just been outside, just been doing a bit of shopping. It's absolutely freezing. So I thought, right, I'm gonna have a lovely hearty sauce that I'm gonna make up and uh, gonna have that with some pasta tonight. So what I usually do is make a big batch of it so you can put it in the fridge, you can freeze it or whatever, but it's great, you know, for the family or for a single person, whatever, you just come in, you wanna make some pasta up, your sauce is all ready, it's got beautiful fresh ingredients in, tomatoes, you say tomato, I say tomato, it's got garlic in, it's got fresh basil, olive oil, doesn't take long to do, a little bit of love, bit of TLC, and then you can pop it in the fridge and away you go. So without further ado, we are gonna make basically a beautiful pasta sauce. So let's get stuck in. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna to need to make the lovely tomato sauce. Probably about four or five cloves of garlic, a whole lemon, a couple of uh, onions, a little bit of sugar, a tomato, some fresh basil, and two tins of plum tomatoes and some extra virgin olive oil and a slug of your choice whilst you're making it. So yeah, so let's get those into the pan and we'll start, uh, we'll start cooking. Okay guys, I'm having to do this on my own. So uh, yeah, first thing, we're gonna start chopping the onions up. Here we go. Mining one's little pinkies whilst doing it, obviously. And what you need to do is just cut them up finely okay the onions oh god it's dropped one on the floor jeepers right, that's gone everywhere just give it a wash under the tap it'll be right yeah <laughs> so yeah get your onion and chop it up finely okay okay Showing off my uh, knife techniques here, which are uh, pretty zero to be honest with you. And get your other onion. And then we're just gonna pop this in the pan in some oil. And uh, we'll do the, the, the garlic first. I'll show you that in a tick. And just get rid of that, get rid of that. And just basically chop up an onion. But yeah, just try and make it as fine as you can do though. A nice sharp knife guys that's the secret okay a really good chop up right guys gonna do the garlic next so you got your cloves I reckon about four cloves it sounds like a lot but you're gonna be making quite a little bit of sauce so just get the clove back of the knife squash it down and just take the uh, the skins off like that <laughs> like so smash it down and you'll find that the that just comes out really easily so just do that with them all Honestly, guys, this is a lovely, lovely sauce. And to be honest with you, it's quite it's quite relaxing to make as well. You know, on a sort of winter's day or something like that, or even on a nice sunny afternoon, you can have some uh, lovely pasta or whatever you want. Just got that one more. And then what we're going to do is just pop that in the pan and just saute it down. You just chop those up nice and finely. Doesn't have to be absolutely brilliant. And then we'll go and pop these into the pan as well. Okay, so we're gonna add the olive oil now to the pan. It's got some in already. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. You do need quite a good slug of the oil, okay? It's really important does look like a lot just warm it up very gently and then just add in your garlic okay 
And you're just going to let that simmer for, well not simmer, but just, just really low heat, probably for about a couple of minutes. But don't let it burn, really important. <laughs> Give it a little shibby around. Turn the heat up to about medium. And then we're going to pop in the, uh, the onions. Let's turn your heat up a little bit. Right, so what we're going to do, guys, is um, I'll just go over here a bit, trying to do it. So, uh, we're just going to do that for about, I'd say, about 15 20 minutes just until the onions go to a lovely, lovely, soft, transparent, sort of gooey mess. Just keep stirring them around every now and again. And we'll come back to it in a minute. God, they smell so good. It does look quite oily, but that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, these onions are absolutely perfect now. Been going for about 20 minutes. I don't know if you can see how lovely and gooey they are. So that's how they need to look, okay? So what we're gonna do now is add the chopped tomato up, that one tomato we had. Pop that in. Okay. One tin of tomatoes. And then another tin. They don't have to be like, you know, amazing quality ones, just like the home brands, all right. Uh, so yeah, let's pop those in. Then basically just give it a really good mulch around, just to get those, uh, I mean, obviously chopped tomatoes would actually be more preferable, to be honest with you, but I just actually had these in. So just give them a good scope around like that, press them around. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'll get a, Gonna get one of these little monkeys, give it a little bit of a. That's it. I'll do. That's how I'm doing. So, heat up a bit. And what we're gonna do as well, season it, really. Season it, okay? Come on, big boy. Yeah? Come on, wow. Look at that. Yeah? Okay, come on. Give it a good old season there, yeah, okay. Wow, come on. Loads of pepper in it, can't go wrong. Black pepper. Wow, look at that. And that, my friends, is getting somewhere near where it needs to. Give it a good mix around. That's the one. And then I'm just going to pop the sugar in as well. She's here. And then we'll be putting in the lemon juice a little later on. So just to recap, seasoned it, you've done the sugar, you've got the onions down to a lovely transparent sort of mulchy mess. And what we're going to do now literally is let this sit on the hob for about... I don't know, 45 minutes, at least 45 minutes. Okay guys, and just pop the lid on. Oh, hang on, before we do that. It's a lovely fresh basil, okay? Just give that, just rip it up. You don't have to cut it, just tear it up. Pop that in. You can hear it bubbling away now. Just pop that in there. And then pop your lid on. Give it occasional stir, leave it on the hob for about 45 minutes. 
Okay, guys, I hope, I hope you're sticking with it. It's quite funny, you can see the tripod in the background there. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's been a bit challenging, but to be honest, it's quite good fun, really. Uh, so it's just simmering away, it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, I forgot to tell you, you're gonna need some Parmesan. Okay, Parmesan Jano, Parmesan whatever. Uh, we'll put that in uh, near the end, and uh, some lemon, lemon juice, just squeeze that in and that'd make it absolutely fantastic. And uh, oh, I just found a piece of basil. Basil faulty, it was awesome, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so there we are, we're just waiting for it just to simmer down. I think the whole thing could potentially take about an hour, depending on how much you, you put in. Uh, but just keep stirring it around and uh, we'll come back to it soon. Okay, folks probably been about 20 minutes now um so we're just going to take the lid off a bit like that pop that over here and then we're going to give it a stir and what we're looking for is you can see it's sort of breaking down into this lovely sort of mulchy sauce and that'll continue to do that okay so a couple of things we need to add just going to add a little bit of parmesan reggiano or parmesan whatever <coughs> I'm not about, Italian origin but uh, a nice a nice Italian uh, Parmesan cheese you can get one if not doesn't matter it's okay Aldi will do and you're gonna put your lemon in as well into don't have to have one of these posh ones but really really important you put the lemon juice in guys it's so important I can't even tell you the citrus just adds a completely different dynamic to the whole thing so give that a good old stir around and then we're gonna put the lid on again and we are going to leave it for at least another half an hour. Hope you're sort of staying with it all. I know it's not dead, dead sort of difficult, but um, it's been difficult trying to film it to be honest with you with the tripod and that. But yeah, just just keep uh, just add the lemon juice, add some parmesan to it, uh, and just keep stirring. Now the secret is just to really reduce it down to a lovely sort of luscious sort of tomato -y goo uh, as i said when it's done just freeze it or put it in the fridge in a tub for about a week or something with some cling film on and then you can use it for like your ragu bases like your spaghetti bolognese you can use it for your pasta dishes um yeah load, loads of things pizza yeah so but when you do it make a big batch of it there's no point in doing a small amount so just get you know maybe get about a couple of tins of the tomatoes or maybe three and just do a really good batch of it and then you can you can uh, freeze it or do whatever you want to do with it mate here's to the next bit okay guys that's it it's all ready to go so i'll just show you the uh, consistency of it there you go it's this lovely sort of mulchy consistency if you're doing maybe like a pizza topping or something maybe sort of blend it down or whatever uh, just give it a bit of a waz, which is great for the pizzas. Uh, otherwise, I like to keep it as it is. Um, I'll sprinkle a little bit of basil on it, just to give it a bit of flavour. Um, what I will do, which is really, really important, which I omitted to show you, is just, uh, just going to test, test it for a bit of seasoning. Mm. That is absolutely superb. It doesn't need anything, any more salt or black pepper. You'll know when it's ready. Um, so there you go, guys. There's my homemade tomato sauce. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit of a laugh doing it, but um, it genuinely is a superb sauce. So take it easy.